Right now our navigation link directs the user to some sample text, which is fine for prototyping, but obviously not good enough for our actual project. We're going to replace that with a new resort view that shows a picture from the resort, plus some description text and a list of facilities. Now it's important, like I said earlier, the content in my example, Jason, is mostly fictional, and this includes the photos. These are just generic ski photos taken from Unsplash. Unsplash photos can be used commercially or non-commercially without attribution, but I've included the photo credit in the JSON so you can add it later on. As for the text, this is taken from Wikipedia. If you intend to use it in your own shipping project, it's important to give credit to Wikipedia and its authors and make it clear the work's licensed under CC by SA, available from creativecommons.org. To start with, our resort view layout is going to be pretty simple. Not much more than a scroll view, a vStack, an image, and some text. The only interesting part is that we're going to show the resort facilities as a single view using resorts.facilities.joined separator to get a single string. So, replace the default resort view like this. We'll add a property, let resort, resort. Then in the body, scroll view, vStack with a leading alignment and zero spacing, an image using decorative resort ID, then resizable, and scale to fit. And below that, we'll make a group using text resort description with some vertical padding, then text facilities with a headline font, then text resort.facilities.joined separator using a comma with more padding vertical. Then around the whole group, we'll do padding horizontal. And finally, add a navigation bar title, text of the resort name, in the resort country with display mode inline. You'll also have to update resort view previews to pass in an example resort for Xcode's preview window. So I'll say resort, resort.example. And now we can update the navigation link and content view to point to our actual view, like this. Resort view, resort, resort. There's nothing terribly interesting in our code so far, but that's going to change now, because I want to add more details to the screen. How big the resort is, roughly how much it costs, how high it is, and how deep the snow is. We could just put all that into a single HStack in resort view, but that restricts what we can do in the future. So instead, we're going to group them in two views, one for resort information, at price and size, and one for ski information, elevation and snow depth. The ski view is the easier of the two to implement, so we'll start there. Create a new Swift UI view called Ski Details View, then give it this code. Let resort a resort. VStack, text elevation, resort.elevation, m, the meters. Then text snow, resort.snow depth, cm, the centimeters. Then the previews will pass in resort, resort.example. As for the resort details, this is a little trickier because of two things. First, the size of a resort is stored as a value from one to three, but really we want to use small, average, and large instead. And second, the price is stored as a value from one to three, but we're going to replace that with dollar, 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 or dollar, dollar, dollar. As always, it's a good idea to get calculations out of your Swift UI layouts so it's nice and clear. So we're going to create two computed properties, size and price. Start by making a new Swift UI view called Resort Details View and give it this property. Let Resort, Resort. As with Resort View, you have to update the previous struct to use some example data, like this. Resort, Resort.example. When it comes to getting the size of the resort, we could just add this property to Resort Details View. Var size, string, an array of small, average, large, indexed by resort.size minus one. That works, but it would cause a crash if an invalid value is used, and it's also a bit too cryptic for my liking. Instead, it's safer and clearer to use a switch block like this one. Switch resort.size, case one, return small, case two, return average, and default, return large. 
As for the price property, we can leverage the same repeating count initializer we used to create example cards in Project 17. String repeating count create a new string by repeating a substring a certain number of times. So please add the second property to resort details view. Var price string string repeating dollar count resort dot price. Now what remains in the body property is simple because we just use the two computed properties we wrote. VStack text size size text price price. That completes our two mini views, so we can now drop them into resort view with spaces on either side to make sure they're centered. So put this into the group in resort view directly before the resort description. HStack, spacer, resort details view, resort resort. Then ski details view, resort resort. Another spacer. Font.headline, foreground color secondary, padding top. We're going to add to that some more in a moment, but first I want to make one small tweak. Using join separator does an okay job of making a string array into a single string, but we're not here to write okay code, we're here to write great code. Apple's foundation library comes with a better solution called list formatter, which only has one job, to convert an array of strings into a string. The difference is that rather than getting back A, B, C, like we have right now, we get back A, B, and C, it's more natural to read. To use list formatter, replace the current facilities text view with this. Text list formatter dot localize string by joining resort dot facilities. Much better. 